Well hi guys, welcome back to me Fisher Rob and the Novice Angler channel. Today we're going to have a look at the NGT XPR Multi Pocket Carrial. Let's take a look. Well hi guys, welcome to me, Fisher Rob, and uh, as I said we're going to be reviewing the NGT XPR Multi Pocket Carrial. What a cracking little piece of kit this is. My lovely lady, 16th wedding anniversary yesterday, good luck to me, um, has uh, decided to treat me to uh, this case um, as a little treat and uh, what a lovely lady she is too. Um, I've been looking for a get something that stores all my bits and bobs um, for quite a while and uh, so she went hunting um, I'm sure she won't mind me knowing the price so that I can tell you guys but it's about 25 pounds something like that um, but I'll pop a link in for you uh, on the uh, video there um, first thing that I'll say to you that I noticed straight away is the actual webbing itself of the handles is stitched in it's not just clipped on or anything like that it's stitched directly into the bag that's a good thing with me because these things do take a lot of punishment um, it's got its own little pad in the shoulder so you can carry it over the shoulder uh, and it's not going to be digging into as you're walking around any of these large lakes etc um, you've got a buckle here so you can adjust it so it's a much shorter shoulder strap or a much longer one depending on where you want it to actually lay on the height of the body so that's good stitched at both ends lovely job uh, two again keeping to the webbing theme of straps for handles it's got a velcro clasp here so you can open that up to separate the handles or of course you can tuck it back in and just fold it over and it's locked in nice and securely so uh, that's a cracking little add-on as well so we'll pop that open but it's given over or promoted as a five pocket carry-all bag um, with two of these sort of mesh or um, material fronts to them here and uh, so technically it gives it seven but five is the uh, obviously the main thing that it's actually scheduled to have and they're all double zipped they're not single zip they've got some very very good quality tags here they're not just going to pull off like the old zippers used to on your coat and things very very good quality and there's two of them to go all the way around so very very firm um, and durable zipping up um, so I'm just literally filled up the insides of this upstairs at home. So um, I'll just show you the sort of stuff that you pull in. I haven't even touched the outer pockets yet, but uh, I'll give you an idea of just uh, what's going to come out of here. So a little homemade rig box, one of the Guru rig boxes, cracking little rig box. That's in a top um, pocket, which is over the main uh, items of the bag. And let's just show you the sort of stuff you can pack into this. It's got um, about, I think it's a 31 centimetre depth inside, 29 across, 61 centimetre in length. So give you that and we'll open it up. Guru 400 storage bag. So I use this for all of my odds and sods, bait, uh, alarms and bits and bobs, catapult, all manner of things. So it will take one of those quite happily. Another one of my fly boxes that is if I'm going to do some surface work. Um, Gemini, of course, the uh, brilliant uh, weight system that they have for helicopter rigs. I had a, a little review of this uh, on one of my other videos recently. So uh, they're a cracking little set if you can get hold of those for helicopter rigs. Brilliant, brilliant way of doing that. Um, mixed bag of uh, various method feeders my pellet drainer, some foams, zig rigs, etc. All popped in there. A couple, 
couple of reels, one of the uh, cheaper Oakwood reels, still very nice, go for about £14. My lovely Shimano 10,000 reel. Um, and let's have a look at, ah yes, one of my containers for some of my line leads and my hooks. Good selection of weights, my Fox's weights, etc. Uh, are my imitation baits. Um, uh, all my swivels, connectors, anti-tangle sleeves. Uh, yeah, my corder um, grinder. Cracking piece of kit, that, if you can get hold of that. Uh, some of my PVA mesh, of course. Pop him down there. And my main tackle box. And that gives you an idea of just what you can store in just the inner section. And that's without these other four pockets on the outside. I'll give you an idea of these. Um, they're not too bad, actually. They, they zip right the way down the side, so they have a good opening like that. Plenty of room. And you can almost get one of these actually right inside. So, you know, it's only just a tad short on that. So, uh, very, very deep pockets and about probably about twice the depth of that yeah maybe one and a half something like that would actually still be able to zip over it very nicely so plenty of storage in the bag and as i say trades for about 24 pound 25 pounds something like that not many of the uh, ngt stockists but uh, well that's been a lightning quick review of the ngt xpr multi-pocket carryall enjoy the slides and we'll see you again on the novice angler